to our virtual carol service for Christmas, Christmas 2020, a year when so many unexpected events have taken place. Christmas Tide is going to feel different this year, but it's still, as it always has been, a time to celebrate the birth of Jesus at Bethlehem. It will also be a time to look back, to remember people we've lost, to support those who are suffering through illness or through uncertainty or unemployment, and a time to be thankful for all the goodness that we have seen poured out in these difficult months. This is also a time to look even further back to Jesus' birth and further forward into our future, a time to remind ourselves that through all this, God is with us in the mess and the muddle, the joy and the laughter, the sorrows and the celebrations of human life. He came to live with us, among us, to share our lives and our stories. And Christmas is a time to remind ourselves of the ongoing story of God's love for his creation, his love for us. People from many different communities along the coast of North Northumberland have come together to create this carol service for you. Please sit back and enjoy it. May the peace and joy of the Christ child be with you this Christmas. About 700 years before the birth of Jesus, Isaiah, in his prophetic writings, foretells the coming of a new king. From the family of Jesse, the father of King David. A new branch will grow from a stump of a tree, so a new king will come from the family of Jesse. The Spirit of the Lord will rest upon that king. The Spirit will give him wisdom and understanding, guidance and power. The Spirit will teach him to know and respect the Lord. This king will be glad to obey the Lord. He will not judge by the way things look or decide by what he hears but he will judge the poor honestly. He will be fair in his decisions for the poor people of the land. At his command, evil people will be punished, and by his words, the wicked will be put to death. Goodness and fairness will give him strength, like a belt around his waist. The stars are brightly shining 
It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn
events around the birth of Jesus are recorded in the Gospels of St. Matthew and St. Luke. To begin, Luke tells of an angel visiting a startled young woman called Mary. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin. She was engaged to marry a man named Joseph from the family of David. Her name was Mary. The angel came to her and said, Greetings, the Lord has blessed you and is with you. But Mary was very startled by what the angel said and wondered what this greeting might mean. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary. God has shown you his grace. Listen, you will become pregnant and give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of King David, his ancestor. He will rule over the people of Jacob forever and his kingdom will never end. Mary said to the angel, How will this happen since I am a virgin? The angel said to Mary, The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will cover you. For this reason the baby will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Now Elizabeth, your relative, is also pregnant with a son, though she is very old. Everyone thought she could not have a baby, but she has been pregnant for six months. God can do anything. Mary said, I am the servant of the Lord. Let this happen to me as you say. Then the angel went away. <laughs> 